Welcome back to Siri Exposing once more. Big up to our diasporas, big up to our fans all around the world. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for staying connected. So we must push it as far as we can so the world will understand what is really going on in Dominica, the nature isle. So I see Scarit for the past days trying to keep his head above water. <laughs> Just scary trying to keep his head above water. <laughs> wow. After 23 years of a fill country. <laughs> you try to keep your head above water. But let me tell you something. Hold your breath. Scary, you have to understand to hold your breath. Because the worst is yet to come. Alright? You need to send that for scary. For the past days, you've been trying to hold your head above water. <laughs> yes, after 23 years, you failed Dominica. You failed this country. No economy. No employment. Poverty greed. Poverty is on the rise. People are crying. Bills are sky high. After 23 years, failed to manage the country how it's supposed to be managed. To develop and to grow the economy and right now you're trying to keep your head above water going there to go in there look, looking for hey, hey no hold your breath scary the little breath that remain hold it because the worst is yet to come you see all what he was asking for the leader of the opposition innocently that is what he was planting that is what he was planting the things you were asking for the United Workers Party leader and members innocently you was planting that and that is all what you're going to reap just recall all the evilish thing he was talking about putting on the United Workers Party innocently that you was planting and you're going to reap it the worst is yet to fall on you with so much shooting and killing no Guns for their protection It's like we still living in cowboy days And this violence spreading even among school children Where do we place the blame? When in Wesley a student stop and kill a school friend From his cell he writes his friend to claim Jackie Chang will be back again Dominic is just crying about dumb black and the Prime Minister of Dominica so much. I just can't understand what's, the, what's all the crying. The, the man been there for 20 plus years. And all, all you acting like all you know who he is and what he stands for. He does stand for development. So I don't know why Dominicans are just beating themselves every time there is no gas, they fight like you scary. Every time there is no light. No. Too much twenty two years the man there all haven't get accustomed to the, the whole lies. Looks look, St. Pusha is building a second international airport. And you guys still waiting for your, your airport. Donkey years the man still bamboozle all the every election they have an airport for you. So common sense people. When are you gonna just go put it in your head and get it? You guys are being fool. You are gullible. What do you call it? You guys just fighting against scary fighting. Stop the fighting, my people, and do some action. Go to the streets. They will have some massive strikes. You understand me? This is the only thing that will make the government know. But when people stay at home, nobody wants to strike. Nobody wants to. Teachers, policemen, civil servant, people have to strike. But you guys are not doing that. How do you think you're going to get this attention? St. Pusha is building another international airport, people. And we're still there in a Coco Maca, run with lengthening, all kind of garbage. People, get up. Do something. <laughs> I'm telling you. 
Strike! Shut the country down. Um, this person say we are really suffering. I don't mean you're really suffering. I mean, I mean, give me a break. I mean, what we, I mean, I know why you get to complain like this. Everybody just complain, complain, and not thanking the Lord for what they have. And everybody's complaining about what they don't have and they don't have enough. And I mean, thank the Lord for what you have. I just complaining stuff or suffering this and suffering that. And you know, we have to move away from this thing, Dominic. Everybody, was, this this place is becoming a place of complainers and a complaining industry. We move from gossip. Now to complaining as, you know, this is our country and, and we have to be grateful for the opportunities this country has given to us. You know, but this complaining and I don't have this, I don't have that, and that person have that boy and we still have this. And why did Dominica you come in Bandera? Why did Dominica you come in Bandera?